Hi, I'm Andrew Rosenblatt, a neuropsychologist at the Jonah Goldrich Center for Alzheimer's Disease and Memory Disorders at Cedar sinai Whether you are a loved one, caregiver, or a family member of an LGBTQ plus person, you will have many questions about how Alzheimer's disease and other forms of memory loss can affect them. During the next few minutes, you will learn about the many challenges they face and how to best help them. First, let's take a quick look at the LGBTQ plus community in the US. There are nearly 3 million LGBT adults ages 50 and over in the US. More than 1 million of those are 65 and older. We expect this number to grow significantly in the future. About one in five, 20% of LGBT older adults are people of color. And about 7% of the LGBT adult population is living with dementia. And though we have ways to treat this disease, there is still no cure. There are unique factors that can add to an LGBTQ plus person's risk of Alzheimer's. These factors can also reduce access to care and support services at a time when they need them the most. Let's talk about some of the risk factors that put LGBTQ plus persons with dementia apart from others. LGBT adults living with dementia face many challenges in getting support. They are less likely to marry or have children who can help them. They are more likely to be estranged from family of origin, so they can't always count on family for support. And they are more likely to live alone. And they are more likely to live at or below the federal poverty level. Because of these challenges, living alone, no family, caregiving roles are taken on by chosen family, which can include friends, partners, former partners, community members. It is important to connect with your community for caregiving support and to learn from others' experience. Advanced directives will also allow for selection of chosen family to take on the roles that are typically filled by next of kin, such as healthcare proxy, living will, and power of attorney. Past experiences of discrimination can lead to mistrust of doctors and fear of not being accepted. This causes many to put off seeking healthcare or support services. Healthcare and senior living facilities are not all equally equipped to give LGBTQ inclusive care, and they vary in non-discrimination policies, adequate training for staff, and specialized healthcare resources. When looking for LGBTQ inclusive care for yourself or a loved one, contact the facility and search their website to make sure that their non-discrimination policy covers sexual orientation and gender identity that they provide equal visitation policy, such as for partners who are not legally married and for chosen family members, that they have policies on rooming, bathrooms, and programming that are not restricted by sex at birth, and to find out if they participate in outreach efforts with the LGBTQ community. You can also look at the Long-Term Care Equality Index online, a listing of LGBTQ inclusive senior housing and long-term care facilities. Here are some of the key takeaways we've learned about Alzheimer's disease in LGBTQ persons. This is a growing underserved community with unique concerns when seeking care for Alzheimer's disease. LGBTQ persons must often turn to chosen family to fulfill the caregiving role. Advanced directives appoint who will make important decisions as the disease progresses. Access to care is restricted by discriminatory practices and policies that do not consider the needs of LGBTQ plus persons. And decide where to receive care by finding facilities with robust policies that promote equal rights and inclusivity for LGBTQ plus persons.